Hey guys, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, today I am doing my book haul, oh gosh, just made coffee but I haven't had any yet, um, for August. I do have some books that I bought in, uh, July because I was really naughty and like the day after I posted my book haul there was a, um, a book fair and so I went to that and I got a few things, um. The first thing um, I actually bought online last month, but it didn't get to me in time to do to be in the book haul for last month, is uh, one of the Penguin Little Black Classics. This is um, Fyodor Dostoevsky's The Meek One, and this is number 44. I think Hannah from Craving Books did like a little um, book talk about this maybe, but uh, basically I want all of these because I'm greedy, <laughs> and uh, I picked... A Russian author because why not um so that was like uh, an online purchase that I did last month and then these next four books are books that I bought at the at the book fair uh this first one I talked about already in my wrap-up for last month but I just wanted to mention it again uh, I don't usually do this if I have already read a book before doing my book haul I usually won't mention it in the book haul because what's the point but I did want to mention this one again just because it's so gorgeous and you all should look into it. So it's Cella Blue and the First Day of School. And it's by um, Alicia Dale and illustrated by Cherie Evelina. And it's just so whimsical. It comes with its own like little bookmark. Um, it's a picture book about a little girl's first day of school. And she goes around asking everyone. Um, this is like a spread of the town. It's just gorgeous. So if you want to buy someone a really cute first day of school, oh, maybe the first day of school has already happened, but um, yeah, and it's like got that nice like rubbery texture on the hardcover. It's just like very, very well put together. And I think um, they're a Canadian company, at least the publishing company is Canadian, I think, but I'm not 100%. Um, and then the next two books are the same book, one in English and one in Spanish. Um, this woman caught my attention. Her name is, um, Rita Workala, Workala, um, El Encuentro. So, um, I got this one and then I got the same book in English, The Encounter. And so, um, I don't a hundred percent know what these are about, but it had something to do with like South America. It says, right of Passage, travelogue, social criticism, denunciation of environmental disaster. These are some facets of the ambitious novel by this Argentine resident of the United States. Um, so, yeah, because we were talking to her about, like, how we prefer this, this cover much more over this cover. And then she made a comment about how this is, I mean, it's basically a map, but it's, um, it's melting, like, the, the country... Or continent. I can't really tell. <laughs> it looks like South America, but it, it's it's melting, and so that has to do with like the plot. And so I was very intrigued. Um, so I would like to read these soonish, at least one of them. I'll probably read the English one first, and then read the Spanish one at some point. Um, and then also, this sounded extremely interesting. Um, this is um, Safer. Barlick, uh, Famine in Mount Lebanon During World War One, by, excuse me, by Luis um, Farshi, and um, so I'm just going to read the back of this one. This is a nonfiction book. Uh, Some histories of the Great War emphasize the conflict in France and Belgium to such an extent that the Western Front, as it, be as it came to be known, was in fact World War One. By contrast, events occurring in the Eastern Mediterranean, other than the Allied military debacle at Gallipoli and the Armenian Genocide, are given little attention. One of those episodes overlooked in most histories of the Great War was the devastating famine that occurred in Mount Lebanon. Um, so it basically it's about that and that sounds fantastic because yeah I feel like when we talk about World War One all we talk about is like East, like not Eastern Europe but um, like Europe and Europe's involvement and I didn't really realize that um, you know this happened. So I'm really, really excited to read about that. Um, so then this next book, I just got, it's an arc. I just picked it up at work. It's Chronicle of a Last Summer, a novel of Egypt 
by Yasmin El Rashidi. And I don't know anything about this. Uh, I just saw that it said a novel of Egypt and I was sold. Um, it's, where does it take place? It says relatives mutter darkly about the newly appointed President Mubarak. So um, I'm really excited. It says that uh, the Chronicle of Last Summer traces the fine line between survival and complicity exploring the conscience of a generation raised in silence. Ooh, so, and it's pretty small, so hopefully you can get to this one soon. This one um, comes out, it already came out, in June of 2016. <laughs> I always get last pickings at the ARC, you know, shells, because I'm never there. All right, and these last books, I have three books left, and this is for um, a thing that Adam from Memento Mori is doing. He's doing a Dante um, divine... Uh, the Divine Comedy read-along, and so I was overly ambitious, and I got uh, all three of them in separate editions, um, mostly because it's uh, the English text and the Italian text, so it's got the Italian over here and then the translation, so my goal is to be able to read them both in English and in Italian, but as we all know, I'm not like super hot on the Italian reading. So we'll see. Um, I'm really excited. Yeah, we'll see. It might be very difficult, especially because it's not like contemporary modern Italian. It's old Italian, but um, I would like to try. So that is why I got these. I'll probably at one point end up buying just like the regular translation to have on my shelves as well but I couldn't I like really wanted these and then he said he was doing this read along and I was like oh perfect I guess that means I have to get them so I have this one here Inferno um Purgatorio like I I don't know this is awkward it's Italian words and Paradiso so um I'm really excited um I probably <laughs> I probably won't read all of this Thankfully, I mean, the, the Italian part is, um, oh, I feel like that's a dose. But the Italian part, oh, yeah, oh, how nice. There's a, there's a note at the end of each, um, like, stanza or whatever. Um, so there, there isn't a ton of text on the page, but I do feel like it's going to be difficult for me to read. So wish me luck with that one. Um, I think the read-along starts next month. I'll see if I can find um, one of Adam's, like, announcement videos and link it below too. Uh, thanks for watching. That is my book haul for this month and I definitely won't be buying any more books this month, hopefully. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone's having a great day.